Hello everybody. Uh, I'm gonna share a quick tutorial and something that I found with the Asus ROG Ally that I think will help many people, especially if you're playing in docked mode or you want a consistent profile across the board for your game. So Halo Infinite, for example, is a good way to test this. As you can see, it's running turbo mode right now and everything's running great. I have it docked and hooked up to a, a third party dock, a J5 Create to be exact, and it's pretty good. It recognizes it's plugged in too, and it's 30 watts. However, it was it kept switching to performance mode every time I opened the game, and I couldn't understand why. And I wonder if it's because it wasn't detecting that it was plugged in, because I had to change the DC mode to turbo mode as well. This was on performance mode. This causes the issue, uh, especially if you're on third-party dock. So if you're on a third-party dock, Make sure you set all of your game profiles to turbo mode if you want the turbo mode. Um, and if you don't want it to change on you when alt tabbing. So as we see here, we changed it to performance mode. Um, and it's, it, you can see it automatically knows that, hey, Halo Infinite should be running in performance mode on DC. But we're not on DC. We are plugged in but I don't think it recognizes it's plugged in. So this is the fix for now. As you can see, it's a drastic performance uh, decrease and why maybe um, some people may be having issues with this thing if you really wanted to get turbo mode on it. Um, and here's the other thing too. Yes, you could... Oh, I think I crashed Armory Crate. <laughs> uh, the command center just stopped working. But basically what I was gonna wanna show you um, was putting it on the performance mode and then alt tabbing back in would switch back um, to performance mode. So if you set it to turbo mode via the command center, I don't know if it's a, oh, it's gonna pop up now. All right, here we go. Oh, that was an interesting crash. I, I have not seen that before. Anyways, it's gonna load up everything. It's, just give it a minute, there we go. As you can see, yeah, it's still on performance mode. But if we put it on turbo mode through here, you think, okay, now it's done. Now it should just run turbo mode across the board. That is not the case. And this is why you need to do this fix. Um, and here we can even uh, put the monitor graph back so you can see that we are running um, at turbo mode. So you can see it, it's turbo mode right now. And if you alt tab and then alt tab back into the game, which you may do a lot on docked mode, you will see that it will drop to 15 watts, which is performance mode again. And it's pretty weird how it does this because we set it. And as you can see, it's back to performance mode. So the fix is to go into your game profile and seriously set everything to turbo mode unless you want something on performance mode to save battery, for example. But this is the only workaround I've seen. There's no global setting as far as I can tell which is kind of odd. Um, I think this would be an easy fix if Asus just added a global setting and just made it so it changed every game profile to turbo mode, no matter what. There needs to be a global setting for both of these options or uh, what they need to do actually is, cause I thought this was the global setting, this setting here, operating mode, uh, but this is not the global setting. This just changes what Windows runs in. So Windows can run in performance, silent, the Windows Power Manager, or Turbo. And I thought this was a global setting, but this is not a global setting. So keep that in mind. Um, that is why I've been having so many issues. But I think it's also because I'm on a third-party dock. And having it being third-party, it plugs in um, with the USB-C, but the charger is not directly plugged in to the Asus ROG, which I think causes the issue and disconnect of okay, we're not running in turbo mode because you're not plugged in, except I am plugged in. And when you put it on turbo mode on DC, it still recognizes it's 30 watts, which means that I think it's just a software or something is just wrong with um, recognizing third-party docks and how it should just be running in turbo mode if you're plugged in right out of the gate. Um, but this is a huge thing. Um, you have to set every game to turbo mode. That is very annoying, I know, but that is the only workaround that I have seen work for my personal experience. So do this if you want turbo mode for everything and you don't want it to switch on you. 
and we can even test that it works now. You can see it's back at turbo mode um, without even me changing it, but alt tabbing and alt tabbing back into Halo Infinite. Um, we can still see it's 60 FPS, 30 watts. We check the command center, boom, it's still turbo mode. So that's exactly what you need to do to fix this. Um, I it, it, This was a headache to solve, but I have finally solved it. So um, please give this video a like and share this around if this works for you. Uh, please, Asus, come out with a global setting that would fix everything. And I think it would cause less confusion on performance issues if people are plugged into third-party docks. Not everybody's going to get the Asus charging dock. And quite frankly, the charging dock is lacking USB ports. So a lot of people may want to go with third-party docks. And this is the way to kind of make sure everything is working as intended in turbo mode. Um, so yeah, please, Asus. A global setting would just fix this. Um, when you hit turbo mode, just make it change turbo mode for every profile for battery and AC. Easy, done. And then if you really want to save, you know, performance or, or sorry, you want to save battery, then you can set it to performance mode for that specific game. But having that global setting would be so nice. Anyways, this is the current workaround for now. Yes, if you have a lot of games installed, it's quite annoying that you have to go through each and every game profile to set it to turbo mode on DC. I would just make sure it's set to uh, turbo mode on the AC option as well. Um, that's the best way to fix this for now. Um, it, if you have 10 minutes of spare time, uh, that's seriously all you really need. And this is the amount of games I have installed and it took me about seven to 10 minutes. So it's not hard, it's just a bit of a process, but make sure you do this for every game if you want to run consistent turbo mode and then if you don't want a game to run turbo mode, you can just switch the DC mode back to performance. Um, if you really want to make sure, you can also switch AC to performance as well. Uh, it's up to you, uh, but quite frankly, just set the DC to performance mode if you want a game to preserve battery. Um, that's pretty much the workaround though. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope this fixes it for you. Uh, please give the video a like and share it around. It will help immensely and it will help share the video. Therefore, if anyone else is having this problem or is confused on what is going on, they can solve the issue. All right. Thank you guys. Have a good day and happy gaming.